Hey y'all, it's your girl, the internet ho, John Ray. I'm coming at you guys with a makeup tutorial and today's look is again a Vogue cover. This is inspired by Kim Kardashian's makeup look on the Vogue Mexico cover. She was like donning this like very simple smoky eye, very like wet look, very glowy, gleaming, lashy, nude lip kind of vibe, which is totally Kim, like I mean. Hello. I'm actually super, super excited with this because I just love Kim Kardashian so, so much. If, if it's not that obvious, then I don't know what you're thinking. Like, by the way, speaking of fragrances, sh she's going to be launching her own fragrance. Since we're in the conversation of fragrance, I have this current favorite fragrance and I'd like you guys to check out the Paul's Perfume PH. It's really amazing, you guys. This is just 180 pesos and this lasts on your skin for such a long time and my two favorite scents is mellow this one smells like melon like this one smells so good and then blondie this is like ariana grande sweet like candy and also sweet pea bath and body works it smells really good and they're also 15 percent fragrance oils so this one it's not alcohol it's oil so this one sticks in your clothes so even though if you wash your clothes you still have that smell on and girl i mean yeah, girl wants to smell hella good for her man. So be sure to check Pulse Perfume PH on the description box below. And of course, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Come on, it's for free. I want you to join the family. And if you're not subscribing and you're watching, I'm totally judging you. You see my eyes right now? Girl, I'm judging you. So for me to not judge you, you better hit that subscribe button, girl. Hit it right now. Girl, we're not starting. We ain't starting, girl. If you're not hit that subscribe button, you hit it? Okay, girl. Then let's get into the tutorial, okay? All right, so this is gonna be a talk through video and it's time to get ready with me because I'm so, so pumped right now. Like, come on, queen. So I already did my brows um, off cam just to save us some time because I don't know, I take forever to do my brows. Like, for me, if I do my brows, it's like, I don't know, 30 minutes, one brow <laughs> off cam of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing a brow routine. So just comment down below, just let me know. I'm just taking a Silene, this is a 106 brush. And also my brushes, I always get my brushes in Mayrock's shop, just to let you know. If you're interested in these brush, I'll just put a link in the description box below so you can get yours. Cause this is a really, I think this is an eyeshadow brush, but I use this as like a blending the concealer brush just so that I can set the base here. I used to use my fingers in blending the concealer on my eyelids, but I noticed when I use a brush, it's so much easier because I can get into the eyes much better and the lids. What the fuck is that? Okay, now we got that eyelid white AF. I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun. This is so amazing, guys. I'm so tan and this is such a good setting powder and it's a really affordable setting powder i highly recommend the cody airspun and the smell brings me good memories i don't know i don't know about you guys but sometimes whenever i smell something it brings me it reminds me of something you know so i'm just gonna set that eyelids and also i'm using a lighter shade concealer just so that it will serve as my highlight now that's set so she has a really smoky brown. i think it's like brown and I think her eyes is like brown, reddish brown, smoky eye. You can't tell because there's like a filter on the picture, but that's what I'm assuming. And I just like her smoky eyes, so I mean, it's Kim Kardashian, y'all. I mean, she, she can't do no wrong. I'm gonna be using the Tarte. Um, this is the Tarte Let Bloom palette, and I'm gonna go with the shade Dreamer and Multitasker on the crease. You guys, this palette from Tarte is just so pigmented. I highly recommend, recommend this. And then I'm just like blending it outward. I'm just blending it a little bit outwards, like like so. I just noticed in the picture her eyeshadow is like <laughs> swooped out. Now it's also the perfect time to comment down any questions you have or anything, whatever, random, because maybe I could like answer it in the next video. Actually, I'm also gonna make it a thing that um, whenever you guys comment, I'm gonna like select a comment. You know, I'd like to pin on on every of my videos. I'll be like picking a comment of the day, or just let me know if you want, like in the beginning of the video, that I would give you a shout out comment of the day. So, if you guys like that, like whenever I start a video, I'll pick a I'll pick a comment from the previous video, or maybe like three comments, like a shout out. 
Just let me know if you if you guys are interested in that. I would totally do that. That's like so cute. So now that I have the shade Dreamer on my crease, I just wanted to deepen it and make it more warmer by using the shade Multitasker. It looks like a brick maroon color. So I'm just gonna shove that on the crease. And I'm using the Morphe M433 brush. I'm not an affiliate. I wish I got a code. I mean, Morphe, if you want, sign me up, bitch. Like, I mean, links down below. Okay, so I'm just like shoving that right on the crease because I really want a brown, sexy, smoky eye because I mean, that's the look that she has on the cover of Vogue. Then I'm just blending the edges really quick with the previous color. A really quick tip when you're doing a smoky eye is you don't want to put a lot, of, like shove a lot of product in the brush and then put it in your eye. You want to put like lighter shade. That's a common mistake that I notice when people are doing smoky eyes is they directly put a, a lot of product on the eye. That's why it ends up looking unblended. So I'm just going to add a shade in the Kylie Kai Shadow Bronze Palette. This shade here, this like reddish shade, it's called, it's called Hematite. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my crease and then just to warm up the look. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. And now that's already blended, I just want to add a darker brown. I'm just going to add the shade Dominatrix from the Androgy Androgyny palette just on the outer corners and then I'm going to mix it with the Kylie Kai Shadow. Um, it's called bronze this one tap 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 just like my Instagram you better double tap the pictures like blandy 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 yes girl this is up to you because I noticed in the picture that her eyes is all matte brown but I mean I cannot resist this having no shimmer so I'm gonna use my favorite shade in the NYX cosmetics eyeshadow this is the NYX um, bedroom eyes and when I say bedroom eyes it makes your eyes look so bedroom eyes like it's just amazing I even don't need to use a brush on this I can just like literally use my fingers on this and it's so pigmented and it's like it's like a very deep it's like a very deep bronze color it's so gorgeous bringing this on the inner corner until the eyelids just like that wow that's gorgeous oh my gosh i know it's kind of weird because i'm doing a kim kardashian makeup and then i'm using fenty beauty foundation but i'm sorry kim you haven't made a foundation yet you better make a foundation for my skin tone girl okay i'm waiting for that kkw and don't make it overpriced riri got my back girl look at that coverage oh my god so I just skipped my foundation routine just so that we can save some time but I'm gonna do a foundation routine soon on my channel and also an eyebrow routine. Just let me know in the comments below which one you want to see first, the eyebrows or the face. Let me know, okay? I'm gonna go back with the dominatrix shade and the bronze shade from these palettes and then I'm gonna like rim it on my lower lash line. Uh, fun fact also, Kim Kardashian loves her lower lashes to be very smoky. Just like me, I also love my lower lashes to be smoky. I am Kim Kardashian. Just kidding. Give me a break, okay? Let me live, okay? If I want to be Kim Kardashian, I better be Kim Kardashian, okay? I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this? Don't worry. That's life, okay? We're, there's one thing called blending, okay? So don't judge me, okay? So I'm just going to look up. And, and then I'm just going to take this just a pencil brush and I'm just going to blend it. And this is like the perfect time to um, connect your outer V with the lower lashes. Oh, you see how smoky that, that eyeshadow is? You better work, girl. Yeah. Oh, girl. Oh, my gosh. Kim Kardashian is quaking. Mario. I'm watching you. I'm trying to end Mario's career. Just kidding. <laughs> but it's like making my eyes look so big. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the bigger the better, honey. Gosh, on my waterline, I want to put a dark eyeliner. I don't have a black eyeliner, but I have a gel liner. I'm going to be using this um, L'Oreal Profound Black Gel Liner. This one, like, you see the difference? I have this eyeliner. This is from the Mestiza Hub. It's on Instagram. I'm actually going to put a link on the description box below. And also, if you're that person who doesn't like to order... Um, online, they also have a physical store. You can visit the Vane City PH and get your eyeliner here. And also, shout out to Miss Sheena. Thank you so much for this. And I'm also going to be using this for the eyeliner. Wow, this is so good. It's like you can make the tiniest line with this.
And you know what, guys? I like it's matte. It's not shiny. You know, don't you know? Don't you notice like other eyeliners are like shiny and they look cheap, but this one's matte. It's really beautiful. And then I'm just gonna be putting mascara on. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. I used to hate this. At first, I was like, "Ew, this is like annoying. This doesn't do anything for my lashes." But then, like, I started using it constantly, and I like it. I was like, "Oh my gosh." It makes your lashes look thicker. What I'm gonna do, because I noticed in the picture her lower lashes is very spidery. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna run the mascara on my lower lashes like that. And then I'm just gonna do that. You can see like my, my lashes is very spidery. Make it get as messy as possible because I noticed her mascara is like so applied like messily. Like a five year old did a job. But she makes it look gorgeous. Like, how is that even possible? I have this contour kit. This is so pigmented, you guys. If you're Morena like me, I swear. Look, I hit pan already. Like, the problem is when I'm buying contour and then I put it on my face, it looks gray. But this one from Sparkle Cosmetics. Oh, girl, this is so pigmented. And this, like, legit gives you contour. Like, you see how pigmented that is? You see that? Oh, my gosh. That is so pigmented, you guys. Like, oof. You see, oh girl, you see that contour? Yas queen. I also like to contour my forehead and then my cheekbones and then my jawline, of course, because that's what I'm good for. Uh -huh. I really like a saver contour. I know it's like so drastic and it's so weird, but I don't care. People would be like, oh my gosh, your contour is like too much. I think you have like a lot of contour. Haha, <laughs> bitch, joke's on you. I did it like that. And I'm gonna be using my trusty Anastasia. This is the um, Sunday palette. I had this for such a long time. It's my favorite. The highlight, ooh. You see what I mean? Oh my God, yes, queen. You see the highlight? Yes. <laughs> it's like glass on my skin. <laughs> it's like face tune. <laughs> it has like a slightly flushed cheeks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush. Tarte's blush, oh girl. I'm gonna be using this blush, it's sensual. I just don't want to have such a blushy cheeks. This is very subtle, like I really love this blush, it's amazing. Then I noticed they didn't put it on her cheekbones here, they put it on right on the cheeks, like here. I'm actually not a blush person, so yeah. I'm making this blush as subtle as possible. I like to do my lips first before I do my lashes because I think I can see clearly if I have my eyes on, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see half of the world because of the lashes. <laughs> so we're gonna be using uh, Maybelline's uh, Nude new Wands. I'm gonna be taking this Everyday Love Lipstick. Shout out again to Machina for sending me this. This is absolutely a cute nude lipstick. And if you were going for that Kardashian vibes, this is the number five. And this is actually a good dupe for Dolce K from the Kylie Lip Kit. It's really nice. So I'm just going to put this only on the center of the lips. Yeah. Who said a brown girl can't wear nude lips, bitch? So I'm going to be using this lashes. This is mink lashes from... This is like so gorgeous, you guys. Like, look at it. It's like... It's like... Um... Lily Lashes Miami. I got this again from Makeup and Chill makes the bomb lashes. Like, super bomb. This is like, this is like so pretty. This is in the style drama queen and it's so dramatic. It made a basic look look so ba bam. Her skin was like so glowy if you want that dewy skin. The 3W Clinic Makeup Pearl Mist. This has like tiny specks of glitter in it and it smells really good so we're just gonna... Yeah, that's the finished makeup look. I'm just gonna change real quick and I will see you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial and don't forget to follow my social media. It's, I'm actually going to put it right here and it's also on the description box below. I just love to communicate with you guys so, so much. As much as possible, I like to reply to some comments. Well, to all comments actually and also to every DMs, honestly. So I really appreciate that. And thank you guys so much for watching and of course, stay fabulous, my motherfucking house, okay? Bye guys!